day 30 of my 31 day challenge one more day to go after this so the question today is now I hope nobody's gonna get upset by my answer but the question is do you really care about other people's opinions and why well <laughs> yes and no yes and no okay so do I care about other people's opinions Yes, when, when it is someone I care about and I say something and they take offense to it or they kind of say to me, you know, they call me on my crap. Like if someone I, I love or I care about, I say something that affects them, I want to know that it affects them and I want to know why. So, you know, if I say something that might be, I mean, maybe I'm joking. Maybe I, I say a joke and maybe it's an off-color joke and maybe someone finds it insulting, okay? I want to know. I want to be called on my shit. I don't want to get away with insulting those people that I care about. But do I care about other people's opinions, like mainstay, like how um, how I live my life? Do I care how other people feel or what they think about how I live my life? No, not really. <laughs> not really. I'm really care. No, because it's my life. It's, it's nobody else's life. It's my life. So I will live it as I see fit. But I'm hoping that, you know, I keep my faculties well into my 80s and or 90s or however long the good Lord lets me stay. And, you know, I don't tread on anyone's, um, well, not ego, but anyone's territory. Like, I, I wouldn't want to leave this world knowing that I hurt someone psychologically or emotionally in some way. I wouldn't want to take that with me or live with that karma, right? So, um, do I care about other people's opinions? Well, this is taking place in my life right now. And, I mean, the last question of the, the whole month will be an eye-opener. But without getting into the last question, because I have one more day to go, um, I can kind of say it this way. This is taking place in my life right now. There are people who may disagree with how I live my life or who are seeing um, my life or my history or my past or my circumstances in a different light than I am okay and they're disagreeing with it or they're disagreeing with things that I have done or I have said or they're you know like <laughs> you know basically kind of pushing that black sheep cloth on me right I, I don't put up with that shit I don't care I don't care if you think if you think I'm um, you know the odd one out that's okay I'm okay maybe I am the odd one out and I'm okay with that so do I care about other people's opinions when it is negatively affecting my life no I don't no, no. but if I say something and I I say something and it, it hurts somebody call me on it say something don't just sequester it and keep it hidden away. Call me on it. Say, you know what? That hurt my feelings. And you know what I'll probably say? Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you're affected by how I feel. I'm sorry about that. But the truth is you need to look deep at your own emotions and at why you react to certain questions or statements or people or ways of life. Why do you react so vehemently or so strongly to those individuals or those circumstances or those situations? Why? Is there something deep inherent in you that is making you react in a negative way to a comment? If you're secure in yourself, if you're secure in your abilities, if you're secure in, like I don't care what it is, your looks, your personality, your finances, your home, your children, your car, your job, if you are secure, if this is something, if you have a job and you've worked at that job for 20 years and you love that job, you know what? So be it. So be it. But if someone's putting down what you value, they have a right to their opinion, but you have a right to yours. So the truth is, I value everyone's opinion. You have your opinion, I have mine. Do I value your opinion in my life? Do I value your opinion? No. I value my opinion in my life, 
and hopefully you value your opinion in your life. Now this might be kind of like beating around the bush and you're kind of thinking, what is this girl saying? Well, this girl is saying that everybody to their own, you to your own, I'm to my own, what I believe I believe, what you believe you believe. But crossing that boundary and not putting up your boundaries and putting up with someone telling you who you are, who you truly are, or what you can do, what you can believe. I don't go that route. I don't play those games. I never will. No. Too many years of my life were spent sequestered under somebody else's rule, somebody else's law of thumb, somebody else's belief system. Mm -hmm. No longer. It's not going to happen anymore. Not in this world. Not in this lifetime. Not with me, anyway. So... I hope for you the same thing that I hope for me. Put up your clear boundaries. Value your own opinions. There's nothing wrong with valuing other people's opinions, but based on their truth, okay? Not based on your truth. You can value someone else's opinion. Like, I, I'm, I'm spiritual, okay? But I value people who are Muslim. I value people, their beliefs. I, I value it because everybody's belief has value. It gives them that sense of value in their life, okay? So it doesn't matter if you're Muslim. I don't care if you're Chinese. I don't care if you're Buddhism. I don't care if you're Hinduism. I don't care whatever religion you are. If you find value in it, then I find value in that, in the fact that you're finding value in it for your life, okay? So opinions, opinions are a dime a dozen. It's a sustenance underneath those opinions that truly count, so... Do I value other people's opinions? Not really. Not really. In my life, not really. I value those if I asked a question and I said, like I say to my kids all the time, I say, do you have any ideas? Like, um, have any ideas about yoga? Do you have any ideas about exercise? Do you have any ideas about supplements? Any ideas about, like, practices that I can incorporate into my life? Those opinions, when I ask for them, I value the answers. I value the fact that I asked you the question and that you thought enough of me to give me an answer. But will I live my life based on the values of your opinions? No, no, and you shouldn't either. So that, I don't know, that's kind of like a beaten around the bush kind of answer, but um, it's the only answer I got. So do I value your opinion? I value your opinion if I ask for it. I value your opinion in your life, yeah course I do. Do I value your opinion about my life? Not really. Not really. Unless I ask you. Unless I ask you, you can keep your opinion to yourself. So, each to their own, and I shall see you on the very last day of my 31-day questions, which is day 31. So, I shall see you then. Namaste, my friends. Take care. Bye.